Okay, so what's up guys, today we're going to talk about the difference between a quick shifter and clutchless shifting. Now, clutchless shifting is a method of going through the gears on a motorbike, well, going up a gear on a motorbike without using your clutch. So let's say you accelerate, you can go up a gear without actually pulling in the clutch because it's a question, the gears on a motorbike are sequential. So you can actually go up without using the clutch. It's not like in a car we have to take it out and go into the next gear. Um, and it won't hurt the bike or nothing. It's actually fine. You can, if, you, if you've never done it, try it. You'll feel it just slips into the gear. It's really, it doesn't grind or nothing. It just slips from one gear to the next. Okay, now why would you use clutch shifting? Now when you go, you want to go up a gear really fast on a motorbike it really helps like let's say you're doing a quick ray jeez okay let's say you on a race with somebody else or whatever even if you just want to get away quickly to go up a gear with the clutch it's not slow i mean if you I've been riding a while, you can change gears really quickly but it's still quicker to just slip into the next gear because it's basically instant, you just go over to the next gear like it's just boop in the next one, it's really quick um, so what's the difference between that and a quick shifter then? well the quick shifter cuts ignition, so when you clutch the shift you manually close the throttle so you drive and you'll close the throttle go up the gear and then you see so I'll op throttles open close next gear now with the quick shifter there is a sensor on the actual gear selector on the side of the bike so instead of you having to close the throttle you can keep it open and the bike will kill ignition as soon as you want to change gear so it will kill the engine basically it will close the throttle for you it will slip into the next gear and then you can just keep on going so there's no closing the throttle you can keep it wide open shift the gear and it will go over without any problems so that's the big pro the big difference between the clutch shifter and a quick shifter and then you get the fancy ass quick shifters that work up and down which means it will auto blip on the way down and if you go up it will obviously work like that as well so this it does the same thing clutch shifting is also changing gears without using the clutch and the quick shift, the shift is the same thing but with the quick shift you can just keep the throttle open so it's technically a bit faster i think um do you need a quick shifter no but i think it's cool i think it's a lot of fun if you've got one uh, so yeah something you should try to do anyway if you've got a bike at this moment try the clutch for shifting i promise you it's a it feels natural it doesn't feel like you're doing anything wrong you just open it close the throttle and go over so the hour is already in six gear so it's not going to change but if i go down to fifth and i do it see it's just it's smooth into the next gear so i hope that it gave a bit more insight on the difference between a, a quick shifter and clutch for shifting and all of that cock yes so if you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe um, for more car and bike videos. I'll make car videos as soon as the shops open and I can actually do stuff with the cars. Because that's the problem I've got at the moment. I'm a little stuck. Um, so yeah, check you in the next one.